Let me tell you something, when you view this vanilla ice cream cone, unbeknownst to you, you're viewing something that shares a common trait with all default web browsers. That's plainness, boringness. Ah, nothing. Listen, when it comes to my digital browsing, I need something with a little more oomph, okay? Something in between Rocky Road and Baby Gaga breast milk ice cream. Definitely not all the way this way. It's in between. What I'm asking for is in between. And that's exactly where Opera GX comes in, the sponsor of today's video. Let me introduce you to GX Mods. You thought browser customization just boiled down to choosing between light or dark themes? Ha! Opera GX has the ultimate custom experience. You see this? This right here is where the magic happens. Opera GX even made me my very own custom mod. Let's check it out. On the homepage, there's a nice custom wallpaper and hovering over your favorite websites does oh. this. When you open a tab, it what? 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 And when you close one, it yeah, they, yeah, they really did this. And this is official and real and you can get it right now. You know what you did, Opera. You know what you've done. I don't forgive you. But my favorite is when you type. Just listen to that. Mm. That is slimy yet satisfying. But John, switching browsers is a pain. I hear you whine. Well, never fear. The Opera GX import tool lets you import all your settings, bookmarks, and cookies from your previous browser. It's even compatible with all your favorite Chrome extensions. Easy as one, two, three. And also, if you use my special link in the description or the pinned comment to download Opera GX, you get an exclusive feature where you can see my 12 latest YouTube videos right in your GX corner. So ditch the boring, get with the fun, click on my link and download Opera GX today. And just remember, this ain't your granny's browser. That was probably Netscape or something. This is Opera GX. John out. Let's face it, the internet loves a good list, whether it be a top 10, a tier list, or friends list, uh, the great Hungarian composer. But anyways, today I think I may have found the list to rule them all. That's right, this one's coming to you straight from internationally beloved yogic guru Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. Now, if you aren't familiar with him, uh, he's basically like a popular spiritual teacher who goes around dropping mystical wisdom such as this. What makes you sad and upset? If you are sad and upset, I too get upset and sad. That's a good question, yeah. <laughs> Anything that you feel, you know, I feel everything that you feel, yeah. Inspiring. I definitely could have said that better myself. Now, coming from a less storied source, you know, I might scoff, but seeing the many accolades that this man has collected over his lifetime and the sizes of the audience he pulls, you know, there's no way I'm not gonna take notice. Indeed, when I saw these unseen beings can give fame, talent, wealth, and power drop in my sub box, okay, I had no choice but to stop what I was doing immediately and click. Basically, in this video, uh, Mr. Ravi Shankar draws from his deep uh, well of knowledge to essentially, how can I put this, rate the universe from a least epic thing to most epic thing. And um, it's simply something that has to be experienced firsthand to be appreciated. So buckle up. Something of this magnitude only drops once or twice in a lifetime. Give it to us, Shri Shri. The whole universe is permeated by spirit, by Brahman, yet in different degrees. Okay, I think I'm following. A stone has one unit of life. Now, I don't want to stop your flow too early here, but uh, by what metric exactly are we going? You know, can I get a legend or a key? Just something to help me out? A rock has one unit of life. It, what, like it's, it's alive? Or frankly, something can have more than one unit of life? There's nothing more fundamental, molecules, quarks. Well, whatever, that's fine. Rock is the basis, okay? We can move on from here. Let's go. You know, stones have gender. Have you heard about it? Well, let me just like write this down for. Wait. Sorry, would you? You said what now? There are male stones and there are female stones. Sri Sri, how are you already getting more controversial? Than I'm just trying to sink in the unit of life thing. You're going to bring out the birds and the bees and the rocks? Aye, aye, aye. I didn't even write anything on this. The ancient people of every culture knew this. Even Grug with his slope skull, he knows this one. He knows boy and girl rocks kiss when they like each other. And uh, actually, we still don't know what happens after that. Water has got two units of life. Okay, water, that's two. And when there is fire... Fire, three strong, units. that's three, I get it. And in the air, four units. Air, that's everywhere. It's all over the place. Space has five units. A little early for space. Trees have got six units of life. That's how you say what now? 
Now, okay, hold on just a second here. Uh, okay, I could buy that the rock and the fire and the air is below space, you know, like the elements. But how is the tree above space? You need the space for the tree to be in. Space got shafted. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. The moon, yeah, I'd go. Uh, Horsehead Nebula, that's easy. Sorry, what? This? You want me to climb this? <laughs> I may be a spaceman, but I'm not spaced, man. I would say this reminds me of Andromeda Second Cluster, but that was easy. Like, what, what is this, birch? Dad, that's easier than the tree. Dad, I'd be up there, like, I just, whoop, but this, fuck this. I ain't doing this. Animals have got seven units. Human beings have got eight units. Ha! Ah, take that, space fire, zebra, flamingo, leopard, and what is this, a gibbon? This is probably a gibbon, right? Get out of here, you seven unit mammal. Okay, so we've officially found out where we stand. Us humans, we are at eight units of life. And I guess all other animals combined are just on seven, but we're at eight, so all right. Personally, I don't feel six lives more than a water or four lives more than an air, but you know, that, that could just be my ignorance uh, playing into it. So let's uh, keep going and see where it takes us. A genius, superhuman beings blossomed in nine units. Wait, what? Superman? Sorry, I didn't realize Eastern mysticism dipped in and out of the DC universe. All right, we get it. Okay, Superman, he's great, he's buff, he's on number nine. I tell you what, put a little kryptonite on pillar 10, he'll be down below wind before you can say Lex Luthor. So if we could for a minute, let's just take stock of this chart here. I'm not sure what Superman has to do with this. I don't know if he means like Nietzsche's Superman, the overman. I'm assuming if he meant anything, uh, it was probably something like that. Those to do extraordinary. Job. Okay, so like extraordinary deeds, that's what I thought. Uh, so maybe he is talking about the Ubermensch after all, which can be translated from German to basically mean Superman. It need not be all positive. Because Hitler, someone who, do, who does things which are inhuman in both sense, are with more units, nine units. Rank nine is clearly for achievers, all right? Do something with your life, and then we can start to talk about getting you up here. But I don't get it, like these are still just normal humans. Like for instance, the animal can't be like an exceptional animal. Balto can't deliver some penicillin to some sick children and become a level eight animal. So I, th I thought these were supposed to be fixed units. Like the rock is a rock, the fire is fire, but Gandhi and Einstein have their own category for some reason and some other choice picks, I should add, but we won't, we don't have to talk about that. And then human can develop from nine to 16 units. Now I can't help but feel deep in my gut that somewhere along the way you've you skipped out on some uh, crucial information. It's really important to know how 9 gets a 12, especially when the end result is this uh, blue man. You're just gonna have to go over it. You're just gonna have to go over it. What happened on 10 and 11 that you don't want me to know about? Shri Shri, please, I give you the floor. Now when we die, we become more powerful in some way. We go between 9 and 10 units of this is strange, but true. This is strange. This, this is strange. Spirit has become free and it has more access. No war, no door, nobody can stop them. Yo, check this out, look at this. Absolutely no way I'm getting through that, completely solid. But watch this. But if you die, then you have access to the ninth and tenth unit. You get more access. So hold on a sec, you're telling me to get from the human eight level to the 10 and above level, you just have to die? You just get it automatically by default? So wait, well, what is this implying? Does that mean the whole mass atrocity thing from earlier, that that's just if you feel like it? You know, just a little stopover if you get bored? What the fuck is this trying to say? So like, I've honestly tried looking, but I just can't find what he's using as a foundational basis for any of this. Cause like, I know some of these concepts are generally just like baked into like Vedic philosophy and Hinduism and stuff like that. But the way he's specifically laying it out here, let's just say it's uh, it's definitely an original take. And then there's one spirit, which is one grade higher than the Patricia Kinneras. Hey, you remember the last guy? This new guy got a vest. Looking snazzy, situation, Escalating much? Kinaras are those souls who are behind big social work or political setup and all those things. You know, it's just like Obama. 
Now, hold on. You said you had to be dead for this part. Shri Shri, are you even trying? I mean, what the fuck? Obama's not like, okay, the other two are dead, fine, but I thought you had to die to progress past the last step. So we're just alive again? We're people again? Well, let me just check like Obama didn't die earlier this day or something. No, yeah, he's alive. He's alive. By the way, can I just point out, Gandhi, in case you didn't notice, has made another appearance here on level 11, uh, which just serves to confuse me uh, even more. This is strange, but true. And then comes Gandharva, the Gandharva souls. By the way, I don't know if you guys remember, but earlier in this very same video, 12 units was uh, depicted by this very elaborately painted blue deity. And uh, now for some reason, it's just a chibi ghost with a guitar. I don't know if the graphic designer just like threw in the towel and quit halfway through making this video, but uh, if they did, I can't say I'd blame them. Kandarva spirit are behind every successful artist. Jenny, <laughs> all the stars are here. It's true. Bob Marley, Freddie Mercury, uh, South Asian Walt Disney. I don't know, but trust me, it's all of them. Through him, there is a spirit called Kandarva. And Kandarvas bring you great fame. And they bring joy and happiness to the population, but they make the person very miserable. <laughs> okay, uh, good to know. And when I was 16, I thought I wanted to be like the lead singer of a band or something, but pff, dodge that bullet, I'll stay a street sweeper. See Michael Jackson, I think that he's brought joy to so many people, but in his personal life, he's so miserable. Great moves, unbelievable moves absolutely miserable. You ever seen him, he's just bending over amazingly like a stop sign in a hurricane for two hours live. Hates his own reflection. Had to rent out an entire supermarket just to find out what the sensation of buying frosted flakes is like. Do not under any circumstances become inhabited by this level 13 ghost. The only musicians who are, who are happy is one who found a guru. They had a path, they are liberated. Hmm, you don't say. The only happy superstar is one who's found a guru. I think we may have located the impetus behind the whole power level chart after all. I'm seeing a lot of faces, a lot of people who really need guidance, but oh, I'm feeling the ones in the seven figure and up tax bracket. Oh, oh they really need my help. And don't worry, call me later, it's tax deductible. Then from the Gandharva level is a Yaksha, another grade of soul spirits. Yaksha brings a lot of wealth. Very wealthy people are blessed by Yakshas. Okay, now see, this is where you want to be at, right? You put in the work, you got your guru, you went from 12 to 13, now there's no problems. You're living at large. Yacht parties, beautiful women, sunshine, all the way down. Yes! Here again, Yaksha can bring comfort, but they don't give the joy or happiness from the progeny. They are not satisfied with their own children. Sorry, what was that? What was it? What was the caveat on that one? Did you say? Did you say cursed lineage? Okay, but if I can get past that, I I do get to live in my own golden satellite, right? Are their children's behavior, are their children's career, something to do with their progeny? They don't know happiness from the children from the progeny. Bro, we get it. How, how many times you gotta say it? D did a rich guy hurt you, Shri Shri? Uh, I feel like this is uh, personal. This feels like some pent up anger. We have all heard of eBay, yes? Well, I did it first. It was called Shri Bay. They took it from me. So I'm just saying, okay, if the universe is conspiring to make their sons a little cube headed, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna stop them. One more level, Devas. The Devas are also called gods and goddesses. Devas, gods and goddesses. It is not the god, but gods and goddesses. Demigod is one level above Jeff Bezos. Did, did, did he write this list? I don't know what I was hoping for, but I don't, I don't really think I'm surprised. So the Yakshas, then Devas. Then Albanians, then Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, Darkwing Duck, Gandhi, Gandhi, and then sit down. You've done it again. You skipped from 14 to 16. So what's 15? Look, call me crazy, but I happen to think uh, it's kind of an important detail. How do you get from demigod to perfect god? You gotta put the step in there, man. Sit down. Is a perfected human being who have gone deep in meditation. 
Siddha Guru, that is the level. Wait a minute, so the top level is just a human being again? Now, I know these are considered like avatars within this tradition, you know, they're like sacred, but still, they're just human beings in the flesh. So I'm just saying, we're mixing up our metaphysics pretty bad. So there you have it. There is your list. He never came back to 15, by the way. He's never coming back, is he? Strange, but true. Look, okay, frankly, level 15 is paid DLC, okay? But you're gonna love it. Uh, it's in the Vishnu Legends pack. It's got a great Siddhartha battle pass. It's a crossover thing. You're gonna like it. Thank you all so much again for your continuous support. I appreciate you more than you could possibly know. If you missed the last video I uploaded, you shouldn't. I did a really cool collab with my very good friend Donovan, AKA Crip Daddy, and, um, it's quite unique, it's quite fun, we're really proud of it, so click right there if you haven't seen it, and see you next time.